Hey, I'll see you on tour in Las Vegas, Chicago, and Grand Rapids in Chicago. It's stand-up and a live panel show. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets, and make sure you go to JimmyDoor.com. Hey, guess what? Donald Trump has announced his vice presidential pick. It's J.D. Vance. J.D. Vance. I was hoping for a couple of different people in that, but we'll see. After lengthy deliberation and thought and considering the tremendous talents of many others, I have decided that the person best suited to assume the position of vice president of the United States is Senator J.D. Vance of the great state of Ohio. J.D. honorably served our country as the Marine Corps, graduated from Ohio State University in two years, summa cum laude, and is a Yale Law School graduate where he was editor. Man, I, I some of... People who graduate early, I, I just never got along with those people. <laughs> What's the rush? What do you do? I, I used to have a bit about that in my act. I can't. It's, it's oh, you on, know what you get? It's on a that job at a box. That's on that CD, really, which I really like. I I recorded in uh, 2006, I think, maybe or 2005. I don't know. In Cincinnati, that's when I was just starting to really find my voice. Anyway. Um, Two years. Who wants to graduate college in two years? Can't wait to go to work every day. <laughs> is a Yale Law graduate. Maybe that's just me being jealous of people. I don't know what that is. Where he was editor of the Yale Law School. Wow, this guy's a real freaking brainiac. <laughs> Why does he want to be a senator? At that, that, that's, whenever someone's that smart and they want political power, it's a little scary, isn't it? Uh, and president of the Yale Law Veterans Association, J.D.'s book, Hillbilly El Elegy. What does that mean? Became a major bestseller and a movie. Oh, really? As a champion, the hardworking men and women of our country, J.D. has had, J.D., I like those are the initials, has had a very successful business career in technology and finance, and now during the campaign will be strongly focused on people he fought so brilliantly for, the American workers. And farmers in Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, Ohio, Minnesota, and Fire. But we'll see. We will see. Uh, he's a 39-year-old Ohio senator's youth. They're going to capitalize on it. Celebrity status among conservatives who skyrocketed to fame. There it is. Hillbilly elegy. What does that word elegy mean? Do you know? Oh, let's ask Siri. <laughs> what does elegy mean? It's a poem of serious reflection. Typically a lament for the dead. Oh, there you go. So, so, it's a, so it's a poem for hillbillies. Got it. Trump revealed his pick at the opening day of the Republican convention in Milwaukee, where he and Vance are expected to formally accept the private. The crowd at the convention floor broke into chance JDJ. Well, he must be really, I didn't realize how popular this guy is. So that's why he picked it. Oh, you saw the movie? His he had a rough life story. Yeah, he had a rough. What was he beaten as a kid? His parents alcoholics. Alcoholics, abusive. Oh, really? Oh, he's an adult child of an alcoholic. Glenn Close is in it. Oh, really? Yeah. Still, the announcement came just days after the attempted assassination of the former president. Within hours of the shooting, Vance pinned the blame on President Joe Biden's campaign for the shooting. Comments drew criticism for being too incendiary. Today is not just some isolated incident. The central premise of the Biden campaign is that President Donald Trump is an authoritarian fascist who must be stopped at all costs. That is this message. That rhetoric led directly to President Trump's attempted at assassination. I, I don't know about that. Like, I think this was an inside job. I think that kid was a patsy. Vance was first elected to the Senate in 2022 with no prior political experience, but plenty of name recognition from his 2016 memoir, Hillbilly Elegy. The book later turned into a Netflix feature film, detailed Vance's journey from a childhood riddled by drug addiction and abuse. So he was a drug addict? You saw the movie. He wasn't a drug addict. Yeah. And to Yale Law School, degree that opened doors for him in Silicon Valley. Oh, boy. <laughs> the vice presidential nod is the culmination of Vance's rapid ascent within the Trump world. The Ohio native was once a fierce critic of the former president, at times comparing him to an opioid and saying he could be America's Hitler. No kidding. But Vance 
This is according to USA Today. But Vance changed his tune ahead of the 2022 Senate race, deleted controversial tweets, and secured Trump support in a nasty GOP primary. <laughs> nasty. <laughs> now, Vance is one of Trump's most loyal soldiers and makes frequent media appearances to tear down President Joe Biden and his allies. He attended his first debate between Trump and Biden, giddily seizing on the president's poor showing and touting Trump's performance. Vance is also close to one of Trump's sons, Donald Trump Jr. Uh, oh, here. So here is uh, Tucker's going to explain it. Here we now, go. J.D. Vance is the VP pick, and I think... Every person who pays close attention has got to be thrilled by that. And if you don't know much about J.D. Vance, I'm not even going to make a case for J.D. Vance. I'm going to tell you what I just saw, which is that every bad person I've ever met in a lifetime in Washington was aligned against J.D. Vance. Ah. And I do think the negative case is often more powerful. Wow. Didn't know that. Well, that's good if he's got... When Carl Rove complains about him on Fox, you know that's a good thing. Wow, I didn't know that. Glenn Greenwald says, in April of this year, the Senate passed a bill by overwhelming bipartisan vote to give $95 billion to Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan and to ban TikTok. Vance was one of the 17 senators to vote no. He supports aid to Israel, but said it would force, it would force Trump to keep funding but said it would force Trump to keep funding Ukraine, meaning that bill. Is that what he means? So after working through blah, 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 most of the, they included Cincinnati, 29 senators who opposed the package were Republicans. They included Cincinnati's. Oh, he's from Cincinnati. J.D. Vance. That's where I recorded that, sh that r CD, really. No. In, Cincin in John Boehner's district. <laughs> Cincinnati at Go Bananas Comedy Club, which I can't wait to get back to. It's been too long. I love that club. I love Mikey who runs it. Uh, they included Cincinnati's J.D. Vance, who circulated a memo call, a memo to colleagues that claimed it contained language meant to restrict former President Donald Trump from cutting off Ukraine aid if he wins. The, yeah, cer certainly it did. And they're trying to make it impossible for Trump to pull out of NATO, too. Vance has sent some mixed signals on Ukraine, but here in his own words, in... It is his New York Times op-ed explaining why he voted no on the $95 billion. The notion that we should prolong a bloody and gruesome war because it's been good for American business is grotesque. We can and should rebuild our industrial base without shipping its products to a foreign conflict. Uh, I just, Jackson Hinkle tweeted this out. Here's your next president and vice president. Just... Just to let you know. Just to let you know, they got to go bend the knee and pay homage to Israel and APEC, who uh, have who way too much influence. It's not Russia that has influence in our country. It's Israel. This is that. That's so. There you go. Oh boy, JD Vance. He's not Jewish, right? He's a. Uh, he's just like Trump. He's uh with Trump's VP pick being a protege of Peter Thiel. You can kiss critical reporting from alternative media on his campaign goodbye. Why? Why is that? Since Thiel funds most of the big names, not that there was really any to begin with. Do they mean Peter Thiel because of uh, his involvement with Rumble? No, but somebody said that he's a Peter Thiel protege in the chat too. So she's saying that we won't be critical of the campaign. I was just critical of it. <laughs> I was just critical of it already. That they're being controlled by Israel, like everybody else in our government. I was just critical of it. That's weird. That uh, I always find that a weird argument, that somehow if you are platformed on, on Rumble, that you're somehow controlled by Peter Thiel. But if you do a show on YouTube, you're not controlled by the CIA, the deep state, Google, the people running YouTube. Somehow, that's cool. I got to understand. Like, so if anybody does a show anywhere, they're controlled by somebody, right? That, that's, you could just say that about anybody. That's that whole thing about, oh, you sell T-shirts. People say that about, everybody sells T-shirts. Everybody sells merchandise. Oh, you're doing that to sell T-shirts. 
So I'm a big, big fan of uh, Whitney Webb. I guess I'm going to disagree with her tweet there. I just, I just did. <laughs> I just did criticize them. Hey, have you ever wondered what happened to Chuck Norris? I did. I recently saw a video. There's a video of him. And first of all, he looks fantastic. He says he's got more energy than he did 10 years ago. And uh, what's even more, he's even stronger than he's been in the last 10 years, he can work out longer and he has plenty of energy left over for his grandkids. That's what he says. Chuck Norris, he's 80. He did this by making one change. Ah, what's that? He says he feels like he's in his 50s. His wife even started doing it. This one thing and she's never felt better. She says she feels 10 years younger. Her body looks leaner. She's got energy all day long. What's the one thing? Well, Chuck made a special video that explains it. I watched the whole video. It's a good video. Actually, I did. I, I like the video. I was interested. I'm, and I think I'm going to start taking this stuff. Anyway, uh, it's going to change the way you go to chuckdefense.com slash Jimmy. Go to chuckdefense.com slash Jimmy. And you can click the link below of this video. And it will change the way you think about your health. Once again, that's chuckdefense.com slash Jimmy. And click on the link in the description below to watch the video. You're not going to believe how simple it is. I'm, uh, just a reminder, the legendary Chuck Norris is a whopping 81 years old and yet has more energy than me. Well, that's not saying much. He looks fantastic. He discovered he could create dramatic changes to his health simply focusing on three things that sabotage our body as we age. Watch this method by clicking the link in the description below, chuckdefense.com slash Jimmy. Hey, I'll see you on tour in Las Vegas, Chicago, and Grand Rapids. In Chicago, it's stand-up and a live panel show. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for tickets, and make sure you go to jimmydoor.com.